the World Bank has been the single biggest funder of big dams around the world since it was set up in the 1940s. One reason the World Bank really likes big dams is big dams are really expensive. The World Bank has to lend about $20 billion a year. If it can't do that, then it makes less profit. So what's the easiest way to boost up its lending is lend for these huge projects. In all the countries where it operates, the World Bank has legal immunity, so nobody can take the World Bank to court. So the World Bank finances a project which destroys your livelihood, your home, floods your land, ruins your life. You can't sue the World Bank for that. The World Bank knows how to spend a billion dollars in one place. They don't know how to spend a thousand dollars in a million places to spend that same billion dollars uh, at a million different villages. And yet in many places, what we need is not a billion dollar answer, it's a thousand dollar answer. Centuries ago, buildings would be built with tanks in the basement and water would fall on the roof and then be rooted down to the basement and stored there. And people are now realizing, yeah, that was an incredibly good idea. <laughs> Why do we spend billions of dollars building some huge dam 100 miles away? Why don't we just trap the rainwater that actually falls on the house?